today I'm going to be showing you how to make chocolate chip cookies. So first you want to preheat your oven to 375 Fahrenheit. Then you're going to need one bowl with one teaspoon of baking soda, two and a quarter cups of flour. We're using unbleached, but you can use whatever kind you want. Then you also need half a teaspoon of salt. And you want to mix them together. Then you're going to need another bowl and a spoon and three-fourth cup brown sugar packed down. Then you will also need half a cup of regular sugar. We use organic cane, but you can use whatever kind you want. Then we are going to need one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one egg. Then we are also going to need two sticks of butter and one bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips. So now you're going to smash your butter and smash that butter. <laughs> okay, so once your butter is all smashed, you are going to add your 3 fourth cup of brown sugar. And you want to smash that in too. So mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. <laughs> you want to mix it really, really well for this these cookies because if you don't mix it well, then it will not work. They won't taste good. They will taste flat. So after you've mixed your cookie batter, then you will add to it your sugar and mix that in as well. And it should form soft peaks when you lift it up. So mix that really, really well. Keep mixing it, keep mixing it, keep mixing it. Okay. So after you have mixed that really, really well, you're going to add your one egg. And mix that in. Blend it, blend it. Blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it. Okay. So, okay. That looks really, really interesting. <laughs> it looks kind of weird, probably at first with the yellow, but that's not anything bad. It's just an egg. Okay. So, after you've done that, you're going to add your one teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix that in. That should be easier than what we just mixed in. That should be one of the easiest things you can mix in. It's pretty easy. So you're going to mix that really, really well. <clears throat> and also, if there are lump, lumps of brown sugar, that's okay. You can always smash them later. So now we are going to take our flour mixture and add a little bit to the batter and mix that in. And we are adding a little bit at a time so that it's easier to stir. You can also use an electric mixer, but I am just using my hands with a spoon. <laughs> and you're going to mix that really, really well and keep stirring it. And you want to scrape the sides too so that you get all of that flour and baking soda and salt. Now, once your mixture is really nice after you've added the first little amount of flour mixture, you're going to add the second amount. And then that should be getting thicker. And after you've done that, you're going to add your third little amount of flour mixture. So the last amount. And then you're going to mix it really well. You can also, when you get to the last bit of flour mixture, you can also just stir that, well, mix that in with your hands, but I'm using a spoon just because it's cleaner. <laughs> so it should be a little bit crumbly, but that's okay. We're going to keep mixing it, and then it should be like a soft ball of dough, which it is right now. So then we are going to take our semi-sweet chocolate chips and add all of those chocolate chips. <coughs> Adam, Adam, Adam. <laughs> Adam. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Then you're going to stir that in. You can also use the, your hands for this process, but I'm just using a spoon. That works too. Okay, so you kind of want to fold the chocolate chips in though. Okay, so now I have done that and it looks a little bit better. And so I think I should be good now. This is probably enough stirring and mixing. So now we are going to make the balls for the cookies. So I'm just gonna take a spoon to show you how you could do it with a spoon. I'm taking two teaspoons and that is the amount we want for the cookies. It's like a teaspoon. And then we are just gonna pat that down and then we are gonna just scrape that off and put it on the tray. So um, usually, I, we, well we don't really do this. I usually just use my hands. So I'm just showing you if you wanna do it this way but I'm just gonna take my hands and do some rolling. So I guess I just kinda take the teaspoon amount and then I just roll it in my hands, flatten it down, and then you've got a cookie ball. So now I've done all of my cookies balls. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm gonna put them in the oven that I have preheated to 375 Fahrenheit. And be careful not to burn yourselves. If you are a younger child, then you might want to ask a grown-up to help you. Then I'm going to let them bake for 8 to 10 minutes. And then you can take so make sure you take them out when they are slightly browned. Hi guys, so I hope you liked this video. And if so, please leave a thumbs up. And please comment down below if you try this cookie out. It is very good. And... Thanks.